Welcome everybody to the Hinkson Christian Podcast, and here we are again, even though we're quarantined, we're coming back with another episode to really talk about this situation, and really want to talk about this into you with this live camera show that we are still experimenting, but here we are, and please enjoy this. It's going to be a real special episode, because like we can't meet up, because we're all trapped inside, right? So we're going to have to live with the crappy audio quality of our laptops, and it'll be okay, all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so since uh, we can't really meet today, as you can see, like they said, we're just doing a video format kind of thing. So uh, yeah, the yeah. audio quality isn't as good as usual. Um, mm -hmm. but we figured, you know, as we promised, we'd like to, uh, come out with another episode. So here we are. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. What, what announcements? Yeah. So for announcements, um, first of all, and everybody knows this, this is not a secret, but quarantine, uh, will continue until April 13th. So no school until then. And yep. I mean, we'll see if that actually happens. I, I think honestly, it would be a miracle if we go back to school by then. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's how it is right now. Um, second announcement is this episode's coming out, um, but then we will continue our break until school goes back to normal because currently, with the situation, we can't really meet with other people. And uh, we just think it would be better to continue episodes when we can meet in person because that's just a lot better for quality. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and lastly, uh, we're still selling t-shirts, so if you like a t-shirt. <laughs> right, um, yeah. Yeah, we're still doing uh, we, we sold our first wave, so some people already have their t-shirts, but if you'd still like one, we'll continue selling them throughout the year, so you can just That's talk right. to us. Mm -hmm. My family has some, Chuck's family has some. Uh, and yeah. we still have orders coming up, so. Mm -hmm. We still have a bunch of orders coming up, so put it in your orders, boys, all right? With this clean, <sighs> slick, look at that. That is so that? Yeah. good. Represent, <laughs> yeah, but the t-shirt form, not the hoodie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's it for announcements. Mm -hmm. All um, right. What we're we gonna got? get straight into comment time, and the first comment, oh, we got comment is, time? yeah, it it's from us actually. Uh, <laughs> we were just making an announcement saying we're giving away one free t-shirt to a lucky subscriber when we reach 100. So be sure to subscribe for a chance to win. So basically, if you're subscribed, um. Eventually, we will just pick a random subscriber, and you might get a T-shirt. So if you're not subscribed, you better do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. it's important that you subscribe to get that free free content. Okay. Yeah, free free shirt, and it's gonna be yours. Free of charge. Oh, All right, and then the second and last comment uh, from Jonathan Joyce: Zoomer music is the worst. Oh come mm. on! <laughs> <laughs> you can't. So what do you guys do that? You can't classify all Zoomer music as bad, okay? Yeah. There's some Zoomer music that is pretty good, okay? You can't you yeah. can't just say this whole this whole time period of music is terrible. That's wrong. Mm. I think I, okay, I yeah. think go ahead, Moses. Well, what I was thinking is that maybe here uh, he meant that the music is made by Zoomers, you know? Music made by you know all those kids. Like I'm thinking about the Fortnite music right now on top of my head. Oh, you know, oh. <laughs> play with that jumping music right now. But oh no, <laughs> if he's calling out this generation, this time period, then he's I, I think he's pretty wrong about that. I yeah. mean, yeah, all the music that's made by like little kids and stuff is like. People play it ironically for the ha-has and the memes, but, I mean, come on. I mean, I yeah. think he's referring to just the music that comes out during our generation. And, like, I, I think the reason he would say that is because a lot of people like to compare Zoomer music with, uh, like, Gen X music, like we talked about in the last episode. Oh, right. And so, like, when you draw that comparison, like, yeah, there's a lot of good music from older generations that, can be considered better, but to classify Zoomer music as the worst, I think, is a little bit over the top. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. to be fair, most of the most of like the music that are that's produced today, not great. Most of it, mm -hmm. 
but you can find some gems in there, which is important. And also, yeah. music is subjective. So, like, maybe somebody likes that stuff. Whatever. Yeah. Don't mm -hmm. judge, bro. All right. And like, even a lot of mainstream music is good. I mean, you have people like, like The Weeknd just came out with an amazing album. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. just like, OG and Tyler, the creator. I mean, there are so many great artists out there that are mainstream and still make really good stuff. So. Oh, yeah, totally. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, is that it for Zoomer music? Yeah, sure. I guess. And All that's right. it for comment time because it's sad. Oh, yeah, sad. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for the comment, Jonathan Joyce. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> I mean, I, it, at least it's something. I, I appreciate it. It's yeah. something. So. He leaves a comment every single episode these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woman King. Appreciate <laughs> it. Okay, so for the topic today, we've only got one. Um, but it's it's a big deal. We've talked about it before multiple yeah. times on the podcast. Multiple but times. of course, um, coronavirus, quarantine, uh, distance mm -hmm. learning, just everything that's going on right now. Uh, yeah, I just I think it would be good to talk about that. So yeah, we've we've covered this topic so many times on yeah. this channel, <laughs> just so many, and it keeps coming up. Because it's yeah. so much more relevant each time, each week, it's so much more relevant. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of cool because we've sort of, I guess, uh, like talked about it as the situation has evolved over the past mm -hmm. couple months. So, um, yeah, like it's, it's the same topic, but we're coming at it from a different angle and a different like level, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. So. What's interesting is like, uh, it doesn't seem like it's going down it's only accelerating which is kind of scary you know yeah yeah there's a hundred thousand cases in america that's a that's insane that's crazy like i remember back when it was fifteen thousand, like total right mm. and we were I remember like when it was like six thousand in china yeah, yeah, yeah and we were like okay yeah fine and now it's like we're all trapped inside yeah it's like a thousand and something is in Russia, freaking. You know, on the Dang bright it. side though, um, like South Korea and China are currently recovering. Like they're getting better. Oh, there's yeah. more recoveries uh, as of late than there are um, new cases. So I mean, at least now we're starting to see a couple countries that are like, you know, starting to recover and like basically finish their whole situation with it so yeah yeah okay we're starting to recover now right uh how likely is it that we're coming back in two weeks <laughs> mm. uh, what do you mean by you know that I mean? like go back you know to like I mean? school like you know yeah yeah like at, like how likely is it that we can actually go back to school safely in two weeks because we have a oh, thousand man. cases in russia and that's going to jump. Yeah. We know it's going to jump. So uh if it jumps and then, Yeah. If it jumps and then Moscow is like um lockdown time, don't know about that. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It could it could totally happen. Well, you know, like thinking about it personally, I don't understand why we would go back to school on April thirteenth if the situation is only gotten way worse, you know? Because, yeah. like, when we first got that announcement, there probably, I'm pretty sure there weren't even 100 cases. And here we are mm -hmm. at, like, uh, 1,200. And so I don't see why we would go back to school now. It's not like things have really gotten any better, even though, it, oh. like, at the very least, they are putting more, um, like, rules into place, you know, telling people stay inside. You know, churches yeah. are closing, theaters, and just public places, so. Yep. Yeah. It's just, this is just a start, honestly. I think that even I heard that the elderly people are not allowed to like use the transportation. They will get questions in the metro if they try to like, you know, to go on a metro. So like this, I think this is just a start to like towards the lockdown. And this is like almost inevitable, honestly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna go 
from senior perspective real quick, just real quick, right? Just, so honors, as soon as honors choir got canceled, that was just kind of like the first step that only affected like a few people in my class. But then like, now that like, like stuff is getting canceled, like Bell Note gone, yeah. Uganda gone, um, and senior trip is about to be gone. So we're, my class is not lighted right now, <laughs> as mm -hmm. you can probably assume, because we've been saving up all year doing lunches and fall festival and everything to get this trip. And now this trip might not happen, probably won't happen. And that just sucks. It's, it sucks. And then we're going to wow. graduate and then we're going to have to miss all these things. There you go. Are That's you going to graduate? Perspective. <laughs> That's another question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I do graduate, I, mean, pretty, like, I would, I would think that you guys will graduate, but yeah, I mean, it just really sucks because in the two years that I've been in Hinkson, your class has always been like, like I've always seen your class as being a super hardworking, like workforce in the school. And so it would suck for all that work to kind of, yeah. you know, not be paid back. In a way, we, so. we are hardworking. We have a lot of hardworking people. Um, but yeah, no, it's probably, all that work is probably going to go to waste. And then when we do graduate, whole bunch of us are going to america to college right america's got all the cases in it <clears throat> yeah so maybe we're not going to america i don't know what's happening for college so there you go <clears throat> Ooh. uh that's gonna screw up a lot of things it's, it's time yeah yeah i will wow yo my class if you're watching this Go complain in the comments, please. Back me up. <laughs> so, how do you guys feel about distance learning? Because we did that for a week, right? Right before spring break. Yeah. Wait, what? I didn't catch that. Like, what? What do you guys think about distance learning? Because we did it for a distance week. Distance learning. It's like a lot different, but well, it's, it's a break. Well, it's a long break. <laughs> it's. It's less work, really, mm -hmm. and it's nice for like the first two days, but then like you lose your mind of with boredom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, it's, it's it's like it's it's the homework minus like the the class minus the sitting in class, yeah. which if if it was just that it would be amazing, but it's that. Minus the ability to go outside. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I think that's that's one of the worst parts. Is that it's like, oh, we got distance learning and you know spring break too, but you can't actually go anywhere. Like you're stuck inside. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, dude. So like, you really can't enjoy it that much if you like. In the grand scheme of things, like yeah, I, you can play like all the video games. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I've been doing that. For people like yeah. for people like Moses and I mean Animal Crossing came out, so like we have some <laughs> things to do. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, Animal Crossing and Doom, they all came out at like perfect times. Honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's 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 fantastic. So the gamers are fine, but all the sports junkies like JJ are screwed. <laughs> I mean, even me as somebody who loves video games, like I love just walking outside, you know, getting a drink yeah. and just like sitting wow. on a bench enjoying the sunshine and, you know, like meeting you guys at a cafe and just hanging out and I can't do that anymore. And that, mm -hmm. that sucks. So that's very true. We would yes. used to do that like every other day, maybe even every mm -hmm. day after school. All the time. Now, yeah, this is this is different. Yeah. Now we have to settle for calls. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy. Everything I mean, is. I think another like uh positive of this whole experience is like for me personally, um being in this house with my family 24/7 has really been like testing my patience. Um, yeah, but I think it's like, you know, it's like a good opportunity to just spend time with my family and also like, you know, 
like in, in a way improve my patience, you know, just learn to just, you know, like, cause I'm going to be annoyed inevitably. Right. Yep. And it, it's, it's like, it's a constant struggle, but I'm learning from it. And so, mm -hmm. you know, that's a good thing. And it's just good to spend more time with family. So that's yeah. a positive. I, I relate to that super hard. Like exactly spending ex more time with like your family than you normally would will lead to conflict yeah. every single time. Right. But it just improves your patience and it's just helpful for everybody in the long run, even if you don't like it, which I don't like it, but I'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless uh, if you like, honestly, like if that's what I've been doing the past three days, it's kind of bad, but like, uh, I've just sitting out like all nighters just because I could like, there's just less noise and it's just fantastic. And then I just slipped the whole day off. Just cut that, yeah. cut that, you know, any chance of making any, like, conflict or any talk, and then wake up at, like, three or four. It's crazy. <laughs> my I, dude I really is not eternal. This is, this is it. This is my life now. Like, I, I purposefully tried to change my sleeping schedule so that I wake up later and then get more time, you know, just at night for, for me. And I just mm -hmm. get the house to myself because everybody else is asleep. And that's just great. It's like, yeah, like I don't even, I don't even care until it's nighttime. Yeah. Like I become a person. So, mm -hmm. and there's no school. So like, just go ahead, do yeah. whatever you want, you know, just do whatever, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I mean, okay, I went a lot different. Like, I I could do the thing where I sleep till one and like stay up till like twelve, but like the thing is, I'm taking this chance to like fix my sleeping schedule, as oh, in yeah. like yeah, get up at the same time every day and go to bed at the same time every night, so that when school actually does eventually happen, which it yeah. might happen, it might not happen, but if it does happen then I'll be, like, awake. And everyone else will be dead. I guarantee you. You will both be dead. Both of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I respect that. Like, that's that's good to... Because, like, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still getting sleep. So, in a way, it's similar. But yeah. at the same time, it's, it's not because I'm, like, every single night, I feel like I'm pushing the limit. And so every night I go to bed super exhausted. And so it doesn't really matter that I'm, you know, getting lots of sleep because still I'm kind of like pushing it and then I still don't feel energized the next day. So like, it's really good that you're just getting into like a normal healthy schedule, even though you don't have to. Yeah. Right. It's just healthy. It's just healthy. Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. people, I've seen these inspiring Instagram posts, right? That are like, use quarantine to improve yourself. Ugh. And then, like, when you think about it, it's a good, good plan. Honestly, mm -hmm. what else are you gonna do, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah nothing else, okay. honestly. No, nothing else. Oh, speaking of Instagram, I, whenever you, I scroll through stories, and I just see like this, this cluster of people bored out of their minds like ask me questions anything <laughs> just ask me questions it's so sad yeah it's like I'm one sad. person does a story of like i'm bored ask me questions and everybody does the same thing yeah. and like everybody yeah, 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 yeah. Times to like not get bored yeah exactly until tomorrow an example of that everybody's bored something to do mm -hmm. uh, embarrassing photo lol uh, <laughs> Trend done. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, it's kind of like sad, honestly. Like, everyone's is just sad. trying to do, you know, something to like entertain themselves in this trying time. Trying time. Mm -hmm. uh, can I offer you an egg in this trying time? Yes, please. <laughs> so, uh, I, one, no thing, one, get that right. one thing we could talk about. Is like, uh, from what I heard, AS just completely shut down till next year. They're just not doing. Oh yeah, school next year. Mm. They just like abandoned the whole idea of doing school. Like in comparison to how our school is dealing with it, how do you? Well, okay. See, Hinkson has hope that maybe school will be able to come back. 
AAS yeah. just gave up hope. They they quit. Yeah. They gave up. They're done. It's a big um, school. They're not. They're not chancing it. They're not. They're oh not yeah, no. Dice on that. Right, right, right. You don't want to roll the dice on that because if you lose that yeah. dice roll, bad things happen. Not mm -hmm. good things happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Um, Hinkson's tiny, very tiny. Um, so it it's it's still not doing things, but it has hope that maybe we can come back. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't think. I, honestly, I think the break is gonna prolong more. Like, this is. It, there's a reason, like, it's called a pandemic. This is, like, a global thing that's going on. And if the AS is... The AS is pretty big, but still, like, our school has 100 people. And if one or two people get infected, that, that thing is going to really spread really quick. Like, that's... Mm -hmm. Yep. One person, and that's already going to be, like, fatally a mistake to, like, open the school back and, like, just in the middle of the whole battle, you know, that'll be a big mistake, you know? Yeah. I mean, and so until the cases, Oh yeah. snap. Go ahead. <laughs> I, until the cases in Russia, like aren't 1200, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't see it like ending. Mm -hmm. Like we, we, like Charlie said, we closed down when there was like nothing. And then there was like everything. So like, how long is it going to take to recover from that? Like a while, way past April 13th. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, I think if, if the government um, keeps taking the necessary steps to slow the spread of the virus and, you know, everybody else plays their part and stays inside and doesn't spread it, then maybe if we're lucky, we can go back to school normally in like early May, you know? And I, I think that would be good if we can at least like finish things off properly for the year in May. Um, but I mean, even that might not be a realistic expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if we did come back early May, I'm thinking again, from a senior perspective, we would have our banquet and we would have Bella Note and we would have graduation. Yeah. Those are three things we would have still. Right. Mm -hmm. That's, that's it. And then maybe senior trip could postpone it. Right. But early May, optimistic right i'm thinking like right past may is more realistic i'm thinking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you mean like later in the month <laughs> oh yeah no no no. like june i think is is, oh. is like when things would like be realistically mm -hmm. yeah that's very true yeah i'm like, thinking I, but i'm I looking mean, at I'm looking at like China and Korea right now because they are like the curve already picked and it's like going down a little bit, but like to get to that pick and then to go like, you know, infection rate to actually go down, like they had to like almost have their whole population, like, well, not their whole population, but a good chunk of the population to get infected first, you know, mm -hmm. maybe even more than you know five thousand maybe ten thousand but that's gonna happen first and then like there's gonna be some recoveries happening because now people are already doing the steps to you know quarantine themselves and social distance themselves to really fix this pandemic honestly mm -hmm. yeah like south korea took some extreme measures but the fact that they peaked at nine thousand and that they're already recovering like that that seems pretty great to me Oh yeah, like we're not even that far from nine thousand. If we can peak at a, a number that low and then recover from there, I think that'd be really good. So definitely right. Now, now let's think. Right, how long will it take to get to that number, peak there, and then s recover down to zero? Yeah, let's think about that. A long time, mm -hmm. right? At least a couple uh, months. A couple months. Second question: U.S. has like a hundred thousand ish. Mm -hmm. How long is it going to take for them to go down to zero? Very yeah. long. Very long time. Yeah, <clears throat> that's a lot of cases. Right? And you know, bad, like a lot of bad. people, a, a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, we'll just get a a vaccine in like two weeks. Two weeks is not long enough. Like realistically, 
maybe 18 months, you know? But even then you you have to produce it, you have to you have to distribute it to everybody. Oh, like, yeah. it's gonna be a long time until we can rely on a vaccine to cure everybody. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. The big problem is probably like the FDA, the food and drug associate. It's like it's like where they test out the whole thing if it's healthy for you. Like vaccines are probably making right now, but it's all about whether or not it's safe for you in the long term, short term, and everything, so that it's actually like working and health, like it's safe for you. It's all about that. I mean, yeah. I, I heard that they're making progress at an unprecedented rate because they're just like going straight to test on humans. Like they're really pushing it, and you know, like that's that that can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they they are making progress a lot faster than usual. Um, but we still have to you know be patient and wait several months at least oh yeah i think so too <sighs> yeah patience i i remember actually in my government class um dr jones was like i really hope this is not your last day of school and mm -hmm. uh which is sad because it's looking like that was our last day of school right that monday Day. Right. Yeah, that Monday. Uh, yeah, I, I had kind of a like emotional moment, I guess. Like I, I don't I'm not sure how to put it, but it was mm -hmm. like before school started, um, I was just talking with my mom and she was just like, you know, make sure you get the most out of this day. Like we might this might be the last day of school for a while if not the whole year. And you know, that, that just kind of hit me and yeah. it was weird going through the whole day thinking like, you know, like all, all of these things that I do every day, this might be the last time for the year, mm -hmm. you know, like this, this class or much time with these people. Like I, I feel like I was kind of taking it for granted, but then when you have that, that moment where you realize like, this is going to end soon, then it was a lot easier to appreciate and also kind of difficult to accept and let go. So yeah, that, that was just kind of like emotionally rough, I guess, and weird and difficult to take in. So, yeah, yeah. You're, you're saying this like someone told you that you would die tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> and then it's like, I mean, I, this affects people differently, but I, I just like for me personally, I can be a pretty sensitive person. And like it can be difficult for me to let go. And so just thinking like this kind of time like the fact that i might have to just let go of this now is you know kind of intense for me so you yeah. know it, it was you know <clears throat> it would have probably been as intense for me too but i was like super optimistic that monday i'm like no 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 we'll be back the 13th that's fine mm. I, I was thinking this is fine i was like i was super hopeful and now i'm not hopeful but i was and that's why it wasn't emotional for me but <laughs> I can understand why it's emotional for you because you're more realistic than I was that day. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to be pessimistic, but like when I heard that news, I basically instantly accepted that, you know, we're, we're not going back for a while. So, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good choice. Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> honestly. It does happen. Mm -hmm. Life does that. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, though. Like I'm, I'm thinking about AES and how they are like actually gonna handle, you know, all the graduation thing. But I don't think it's gonna actually happen like publicly or like outside anymore. It's just gonna happen. It's just yeah, yeah. How is AES's crack class of 2020 gonna graduate? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> like Minecraft server graduation. Yeah. Minecraft yeah, yeah, yeah. server graduation. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, make a server. You know. Yeah, I've seen people do that. <laughs> could happen honestly i don't mind it why it's not better, yeah down. it's better than you know nothing uh, moses really surprised me the other day because um on probably our last meetup for a while uh we were just we were walking outside the three of us and he said that he missed going to school and i was like <laughs> i was like what do you mean like where's this coming from so 
Yeah, I mean, it seems like even Moses is mm -hmm. is missing school after yeah. having to be cooped up at home for so long. Oh yeah, like it really like messes with your sanity. Like you're just alone in this one room. You sleep, eat in this one room, stare at screens and stare outside. You know, it's this paradise outside that you have that you cannot get. Like just just a window that separates you and reality outside. And inside, it's just you and your sanity just running away slowly but surely. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that was descriptive. Great. Yeah. You're Great. Welcome. Thank you, Moses. You're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, it would be <laughs> Moses to be the first to lose his sanity. At least it's not snowing outside anymore. Oh yeah. Well, That's great. True. Now we can enjoy the nice weather. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, like, even, like, when I'm inside, just getting to look out the window and see that it's warm outside and that there's sun shining, like, at least it's something. <laughs> so, like, I, I remember it, uh, I think this was last month, and the grass was green and it looked like spring. And then one day, just, like, a hailstorm, mm. just snow everywhere, like, out of nowhere. Like, that really upset me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it you know it's nice that wow. at least at least there's like good weather now and that it's warm outside even though we can't fully yeah. appreciate it yeah. i mean good weather does improve morale a little bit i kind of get it yeah yeah <clears throat> oh, man it, it would be a lot more though. depressing if we were if we were going through the struggle and then outside it's just like yeah dark, gray, gray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That would be depressing. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I've been because I've been more active at night. I've been uh, actually just hanging around my house. Sometimes I would go outside to just take a breather because, like, no one's outside at like I don't know eleven or twelve. So like, it's it's gonna be okay. But still, like, I just look outside air is fresh and just you know thinking about my homies meeting up with them but only in a call and what that's gonna do you know <laughs> oh yeah. my god that's so depressing <laughs> true yeah it's oh, true man. it's true it's true i mean like we, we're not like under complete lockdown yet so going outside like a little bit helps a lot just to get air mm -hmm. you know air so is gonna nice. get worse <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank yeah, you charlie for the reality but yeah i mean I've, I've been able to go out a, a, just a couple times you know short walks i played basketball yesterday with uh my brothers and father and so i mean you know like at least now there's space for things to get better uh worse and um <laughs> We still have some opportunities to just go out and enjoy the weather while we can. Yeah, for the better or worse. Yeah, you know. exactly. exactly. But then also, you, you have people who are just constantly meeting up in like groups and spreading it, you know? So, like, oh, yeah. some people, because like, I, you know, I've been going outside, but either I, I go alone or I go with my family, which I'm surrounded by all the time. So, I'm not really going to spread it with anybody. I don't use the metro, I don't use the bus. But then you also have people who are taking that opportunity and then just going everywhere and spreading it. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, like I would go outside at night and I would see a group, maybe like a mob, honestly, like a big crowd of like, I don't know, like millennials just like hanging around <laughs> one car, oh. booming oh, the music yeah. and just I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I don't these know. millennials this millennial <laughs> shaking my head <laughs> ruining everything okay mm -hmm. they just don't get it do they they don't you would get it <laughs> <laughs> i get the reference <laughs> nice one. Oh man he made the joke boys he did it all right, well, any other thoughts for distance learning, quarantine, coronavirus, anything really? Honestly, I, I think everything, unless Moses got something. 
Well, honestly, the second Charlie mentioned distance learning, I don't know where did that even, like, I think they just made up this word while the pandemic was going on. Like, distance learning, like, at least for our school, like, I don't think, because we don't have, like, this live stream that's going on that, like, students are, you know, connecting into, and, like, they have to wake up at nine and, like, you know, yeah, join yeah, yeah. into this, you know, server or a call. So, like, I don't know, uh, like, our version of distance learning is more like just a break. <laughs> so, that's about it's it. It's more like do homework. Yeah. That do eventually. Mm -hmm. That's learn. Yeah. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, I, and, uh, during the week that we had distance learning, I still stayed up for a long time. I still got up later. Like, it really does not feel like school at all. And there's not that, nope. like, yeah, there's, there's just not that need to go anywhere and to get ready. And so it doesn't feel like school at all. I'm just doing home like yeah. the hour before it's due and in, in a way it feels kind of pointless like i'm not gonna lie so it does like really, it really it's does. just like it's just like we we need those grades and um you know we got to finish fourth quarter somehow but it's so much worse than actual school and actual classes that sometimes it just feels like what's the point so that's true. honestly yeah, I get it. Like you're not learning; you're just doing things that you know how to do, and you're turning it in. Like, you know, how's that learning? It's not learning, bro. Yeah, I think really hard in the middle of this thing that's going on. Honestly, <sighs> all right. Well, I guess I guess that's it for today. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess think that so. was enough said. Yeah, for one topic, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So again, we're uh, if the we're not going to continue episodes until school continues. That's what we're going to do. Because we need to actually right. meet so, up with people and you know have yeah. school to talk about. So mm -hmm. right, that's the point. So we're not going to be posting for a while, but we'll be back if school comes back. Hopefully. I hope. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Yeah. anyway, leave comments for comment time when we do come back, please. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. And order t-shirts. Order t-shirts. We got t-shirts. Order t-shirts. That's right. You want to look fresh while you're in your house? Order t-shirts. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, well, thank you for listening and watching. Uh, and hopefully, we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. Bye. Wash your hands. Bye.